chit chat with cutie that's what they said yep chit chat with qt was killing chit chat with qt for all of this tea hey guys welcome to chit chat with qt let me give my disclaimer the views that i express are my own personal opinions for entertainment purposes only and everything is alleged please make sure to like the video hit that notification bell and subscribe So let's get into the video, guys. Now, we have been trying to piece together since this past weekend if something happened between Martel Holt and Ariane Curry. So we do know that late Friday night, the social media streets were lit with information stating that Martel and Ariane got into some sort of an altercation. Now, I am leaning towards something indeed happened, and I'm going to show you guys why. So first, I'm going to read you some posts from Melody Cherie. Then I'm going to let you hear Mr. Martell on video in his own words. And at the end, I'll be back with my commentary. So one thing I know about them kids' mama, Miss Melody Cherie, is Mel will say something without saying anything. And you basically have to read between the lines on what she's possibly saying. So as I mentioned, let me read you guys a couple of her stories. It's unfortunate, but a lot of us know Mel and Martel's schedule. When it comes to the kids, we know that they are on one week, off one week. So the kids are with Mel one week, and the next week they're with their dad. Take a look at what Mel has posted this week. Now, according to Mr. Martell, he was supposed to get the kids on Monday. Like I said, we know their exchange and all of that. So we know that Mel will drop the kids off in the morning at school and normally Martel will pick them up after school. Well, this was Monday evening and Mel posted, there's one kiddo who is gonna always win all the little balls and bears in the machines whenever we go to play at Dave & Buster's. Yep, boss baby then want me to hold all of her stuff. Another post said, Woo, tennis, now home. We've been rocking and rolling today. In another post, she put, at Tank's baseball practice and a lady's beautiful dog jumped out the car and literally ran a home run. She was trying so hard to grab it. Like this went on for about 20 minutes and every time the owner would jump, the dog would do a U-turn or a dog did a U-turn. So this was at Tank's baseball practice, which is normal. Both mom and dad could be at baseball practice, but let me continue. Mel made another post talking about she was determined to get all of her orders done by Tuesday because it's spring break for the kiddos. So she has to vacate them. And I may have gotten this story out of sequence, but I do believe that the kids could have been helping Mel with the orders, not too sure. But she put, and they understand the assignment because they've been so good all day today. Hashtag train them up. And this post was just from this morning. Mel put, man, I'm sorry to interrupt skincare posts, but Boss Baby just woke up and looked at me, and y'all, this little gal has on lipstick and a full face. Let me go see who brought her this makeup kit for her birthday, cause ciao. Next, guys, I want you to take a look again at Mr. Martell Holt in his live. 
I just cut the parts out where he was talking about the kids and talking about that he would have his kids on Monday. Today is Wednesday and the kids are still at Mel's house. Take a look at Mr. Martel Holt in his own words and I'll be back at the end with my commentary. Melody has has the kids right now this week or whatever. And I got my daughters, Mariah and Leah, their birthday gifts were tickets to a little concert. And the concert is today at 12. So I'm about to go pick the girls up and I'm taking them to the concert. Gotta be there at 12 o'clock. I took, I took them last year, we went up to um, DC. I flew them to DC to go to the concert. But now the little girl named Piper Raquel, she's a um, little YouTuber. I tell these YouTubers, killing it. I'm, um, I'm trying to I'm get my kids to do the YouTube thing. They dying to, to start the little YouTube, right? But anyway, we're going to the concert in a few hours. And we're going to eat on the way. Might get some Chick-fil-A or something like that. <sighs> hey, I got my kids yesterday. I'm about to go get them right now. And I get them my seven days on Monday. I'm about to go get them right now. And I get them my seven days on Monday. I'm about to go get them right now. And I get them my seven days on Monday. Now, baby, it's Wednesday, and the kids are still with their mama. So this leads me to believe that something definitely happened. I believe what's been going around over the last couple days, that there was some type of cool-down period, allegedly, where Martel and Ariane was taken down to the station to cool down, and... They got a citation because why aren't the kids with father of the year, Martel Holt? It is Wednesday. He said out of his own mouth, and I made sure to loop that a couple times for you guys. He said out of his own mouth that he will have his kids for his seven days on Monday. Something ain't right. And that just shows how cunning Martel is. It shows how basically the man will just look at you and tell a bold face lie because either he was strictly lying and hoping and praying that Mel wouldn't go and put in an emergency order for her kids to remain with her or like I said, the man was just lying, just period, point blank. He and Arion lied throughout that whole life that they did together. It was um, like semantics. You know, we weren't in jail. Well, yeah, you guys were at the station, allegedly. So just because you didn't have your mug shot taken and all of that, don't get on live and act like what everybody is talking about is just a bold-faced lie. It would have been better if they would have got on and say, you know what? We had a little argument. It got loud. Just tell the damn truth. So I think that something happened. I'm going to bet on it for this reason only. Those kids are not in his possession. And if this is true, then like I said in the first video that I made when this news broke, this is a win for Mel when it comes to her getting full custody of those kids. So I definitely believe something happened between these two. And then guys, take a look at this last little clip of Mr. Carlos King. And I believe that Carlos had to get involved because this is one of his main stars of his show. We know that Martel threw Carlos all under the bus. Martel allowed Arion to throw the network and Carlos under the bus. And Carlos came out with a video. And for me, his message 
was loud and clear. Take a look at that, guys. Once you're done, drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on all of this. Like I said, clear indication for me that something definitely happened is those babies are still with their mother. Rightfully so. Get these ghetto-ass people out of those kids' lives. I know Martel should have some form of visitation with his kids. But yeah, enough is enough. Enough is enough. So take a look at Carlos's uh, video, guys. And like I said, drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Please also make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. Chat with you guys soon. Bye. Happy Sunday, Raindrops. The word of the day is the Lord giveth and taketh away. When you work hard for something and you finally get the fruits of your labor, oftentimes you get a big head, you become conceited, and you think it's all about you. You refuse to give God the glory. You refuse to be grateful for the opportunity and when that happens, God takes it away from you. Not only are you not giving him the glory, you're not honoring the very thing you work so hard for because you think it's all about you. Always remember, when God blesses you with the desires of your heart, the way you protect it is to be grateful. The way you protect it is first and foremost, giving him the glory. When you get so conceited and you think it's all about you and you become a mean person and an arrogant person, God will humble you. So make sure you humble yourself before God does. I know that's right, Carlos. We will be waiting to see what happens.